Have you ever wondered if your when is the next time you might be intimate with your partner again? Do you ever wonder if your sex life is actually be is satisfied? Do you have, ever want to have a better sex life? Hi everyone, I'm Cindy V King. I'm a creator of Calling My King. I'm help transform high achieving women to create lasting love through Vedic astrology, neuroscience, and I'm a love coach so that she can become the queen of love. So today we're going to be talking about yoni, and it's so important. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are here and just coming back as a subscriber, I want to welcome you back as well too. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the like and share as well because that's so important because information is knowledge and some people need to know about information like this. So, have you ever wondered if your when is the next time you might be intimate with your partner again? Do you ever wonder if your sex life is actually be is satisfied? Do you have, ever want to have a better sex life? or you haven't figured out how to. So stay tuned. I'm going to tell you exactly what is the issue and how to resolve it as well. So today I want to talk about sexual compatibility and the reason why it's so important not why it's not working for you and this is the finding that I have found through Vedic astrology. The first one is the feeling. You need to be feeling connected. And you hear this time over again and again. We in Vedic astrology we call it the moon. The moon is representing the feelings, right? If you're not compatible through feeling, you can't really connect. And that's for a woman, it's more spiritual than anything else. And then a man is, is physical, right? How comfortable he is in his his own masculine role of co-creating or having pleasure. And what kind of type of pleasure that he enjoys? I think that's a huge, a big factor. That being said, there's ways around it as well. So if you're not feeling connected, they say that's a really simple solution. That if no speaking at all, you just get into a tub, big enough for two, and just hang out and just hang out and just bathe each other. That would be one way of doing it, because that's how you connect and. Semen really represent really well. Venus represent really well also in Pisces, and that's also semen represent also liquid and fluid and how well that really goes. So again, get into the hot tub, feel connected with each other. That's one way of doing it so that you guys can feel comfortable with each other in your own skin. Okay, so without all this makeup, without being with the fancy clothes and the perfect hair. It's not about that. It's more like, okay, can we connect naturally with our well-being in our own skin? Okay, so number two is our animal satisfaction. And when I talk about animal satisfaction, that's our animal instinct going for it, right? So feeling comfortable performing and it's not always technically about technique. If you want to learn more about technique, just leave a comment down below. I'm happy to share resources regarding about techniques and how to be more playful in bed. That will be something really interesting to talk about. But I'm really talking about here animal satisfaction is the yonis. And yoni represents our private parts in Vedic astrology. If you have not watched all my CUDA compatibility, there's a series of videos that I made uh, regarding about breaking down what consider to be um, compatible in a relationship and how you score based on that. And there's different tiers and uh, matrix of being compatible in a relationship. And if you're not compatible this way, it's a little vice versa, what can you do about it? But when we talk about the yoni, and it's all about our animal instinct, okay? So our animal is going to go after it. And we all represent, our moon has some sort of animal, it has a symbol, right? An animal symbol, um, or we call it the animal spirit, or soul spirit, right? So what are you more compatible 
with and that's the animal satisfaction when we're in crisis that's our animal instinct to get out of the way or to attack back or to hide or whatever that might be your animal instinct there's a way of calculating if you don't know what it is um, it's based on our, your Navamcha so and I probably mispronounced that sorry if that's the case but it's our animal crave that we have create satisfaction I think it's strongly if you're not doing that um, tapping into your animal or aware of what your animal your partner's animal I think that makes a huge difference when you know your animals um, partners and what they are like because in crisis or as um, in the bedroom right so you can actually know and actually watch the discovery channel based on that information how they um, are in a situation of crisis or in pleasure mode Okay, number three is time availability. So a lot of us do work for a living or trying to make money or is a caregiver of a home or a homemaker, right? Or a homebody individual that cares within the house, right? So I think a lot of us don't take the time to schedule in a time where you can tap into that animal place for yourself with yourself so let's start with you first before your partner if you don't know what really you like as pleasure or what caused you to become crisis or cause trauma to your uh, body and I might want to talk about trauma in a bit about um, in the bedroom as well if you have experienced trauma in relationships or as a child it would affect how you perform in bed or how you become intimate with your partner I think that's a big layers in between if that's something that you're interested in hearing please leave a comment down below so it reminds me that I will make a video regarding about that and that is that's one of the struggles that you're having in the bedroom so yeah if you are struggling um, intimately with your partner this is not your fault. Um, there's lots of more things or layers behind it that we can go and discover that and get that healed or at least have a solution to um, what you're really struggling. And you see this time over again. It doesn't only happen in one relationship. There's actually a pattern. So you would notice that it's not only with the current partner that you have, it's also you see a certain patterns. Um, we are one of those animal creatures that we have patterns and features that kind of has this habits as well. So if you want to hit the thumbs up in this video so that I know that you are wanting to work on your sexual compatibility and there's many ways of doing it. You can see this through uh, Vedic Astrology. Um, I specialize in this area because this is something that I'm interested in, um, not only for myself, but also help my client to become more intimate and have longer relationship because it's all about creating lasting love. And it's not only within ourselves, but also with the people around us as well. So that being said, you're not alone if you're struggling with this. And I'm happy to help you. If you want a consultation regarding about this, I'm happy to do so. There's a link down below. I create programs. So within that program, I also help you um, deal with your charts and um, a little bit more depth so we can work together so that you see results instead of just a reading I just don't do single readings all the time it's a very special promo if I'm doing readings or more research about that so yeah that being said I want to conclude my video today I'm so excited for um, you kind of watching me and sharing this um, information and as well as I continue on growing the more of the resources I want to be able to gear this to um, many more of my audience so thank you so much and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and if you are a female and need more support I have a Facebook group for that that will be a link down below all that information is there I'll see you guys next time in the next video bye now if you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends because sharing is caring. If you want my help in your relationship or dating situation, you can always book a time with me. Check out the link below. To stay in touch, 
subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button so you can be notified when I post new videos. Please go ahead hit the like button because it encouraged me to create more contents like this every week for you. If you have an idea for a video, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.